Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today we are down at the craft room, so we're going to have a little look around. Um, also want to let you know, I haven't forgotten about my crafty videos, so for those of you that really love the craft videos, they will be coming very shortly. I've got one literally as we speak in the pipeline, but I've also got two vlogs to edit. One is Christmas Day, yes I know it's the middle of January, and the other one is Phoebe's birthday. So they will be coming on at some point, and I've also got um, two shopping videos, and I think we'll be putting one on tonight, so there'll be two videos going on today. Um, but first of all, I want to just show you around the craft room, just show you if anything's changed. Um, I've tidied out a couple of weeks ago from Christmas, and um, just getting my head clear really, and ready for the new year, and um, I find that helps and just um, sort of have your little wander around and just show you what we've got. So as an overview, I tend to work from this table in the middle here. This is quite um, a large table, it actually seats six people. So I've just got a PC there. Sometimes when I'm working, I put YouTube on or something like that and watch a little bit of that. Um, I won't show you everything because it will take far too long. Um, I've got these shelves here. Some of Phoebe's bits are on the bottom, some glitter, some books. I've got things like, I've emptied a lot of stuff out of these baskets and put some Christmas stuff away. Um, got the reef forms there, there's ribbon in there. Here we've got some brushes, some of the hearts. These I'll be doing as a DIY, these are tissue boxes. So we'll be decorating those at some point very shortly. There'll be a little DIY coming on. We've got ribbon in these tubs here. I did take out, as I said to you, a lot of the Christmas stuff, and this this in here is kind of, we can, I mean, I can use that for Valentine's Day, I thought, you know, and things like that. Then we've got some of the paint. We've got the Vintage with Grace paint there. These have not been opened, and these have not been opened, so I've got the Mod Podge and then the um, Fairy Chic Emporium's matte finish as well, which is great stuff. Got a couple of bits up there that people have made for me. And again... These were made for me, Viv made these for me. I've got some books that I made there. We've got things like little bags, cello bags, that sort of thing in there. I made these the other day, just some really simple cards. Just wanted to come down here, hide out the way. Phoebe came down, had a play on them, Sims on a laptop. And I literally just made these cards. They'll be using the same kind of basic design, but um, I just kind of sat and just had a play around. They're not fantastic, but I enjoyed making them. And I will do some card making at some point when I feel um, more confident, you know, to, to bring that to you. This area here, I've got this big unit that came from Ikea. This is fantastic because it holds loads of stationery and paper craft stuff. So I cleared all this top part out. Um, I've just put all these baskets together because I've not got anything in at the moment. Um, some bits that I've made I wanted to keep, I've put in there. Um, I just put these roses along the top so I thought they looked quite cute. That's my TV, so if I wanted to watch like a DVD or something, I can put that on there. I've got a little radio as well. I cleared out loads of these. Um, I gave them to Phoebe. So along here we've got, these are some of my favourite flowers. I've got those from the range. Um, we've got sort of all sorts of different tissue candles we'll be doing um, a DIY with some candles shortly then we've got these are my napkins in here obviously I've got loads more napkins because I've got them for sale as well got some stickers there there for planners and then we've got some papers these are my paper pads that I've got and then I've got the smaller sizes down there here it's a little bit of a mixed bag as you can see it does need tidying that was one thing I was going to do but I'll do that at some of the point. I've got um, laminating pouches and card. There's all sorts of card in that drawer as well. Something stuck on that bit of paper. Um, these are some like the off-cut bits of card. I, I tend to keep those. One, if I could use them, but also sometimes Phoebe wants to do some crafting. Do you know, incidentally, I really love that design. I really love that. Um, in here we've got things like die cuts, there's scoreboards, trimmers, um, more kind of die cut embossing folders in there. We've got my cinch machine, again I want to do more things with those. These, um, there we go, look, the little holes. We've got um, a tab maker there, a little hole punch, a scoreboard. I've got another trimmer there and then there's some of the ring binding things for the cinch down the bottom. 
moving over here we've got my ATG roller thing which I can't ever load those I always have to give it to Carl to put the glue roller back on those for me I've got the long arm state plus so if you're doing it's a bit jumbly in here but if you're doing sort of projects where you need a longer middle I've got this beast here and what else is down here see these I use all these when I'm doing crafts and card making that's a little hole punch that basically does the same thing as this well, I think that looks a bit more impressive doesn't it this is a corner punch as well so you can um, punch your corners on things they're all little gadgets and gizmos aren't they and then obviously I've got my Sizzix machine there which is a die um, cutting machine but I will I will promise you that we'll be doing more things like this very very shortly in these bottom drawers here i've put things like spare things like christmas stuff phoebe's got the end drawer there it's just like knickknacks and bits and bobs dvds things like that there's some like felt in there um some oddments of material in the bottom um so that's what these drawers are full of if we then move up to this area this is where I keep my bubble wrap boxes. I've got some tissue paper in here. I keep things like little bags um, just in case I need them. And then recently I've just moved this around to put all things that, um, like these little tubs. I often keep these tubs when in the kitchen, maybe they had peaches or something in those. I keep those for paint, keep these little tubs from takeaways. Again, they're great for putting glue in and things like that. You can just wash them out and you can reuse them. I've got things like jars, reusable jars, stuff like that in the bottom of there. Here I've got a couple of trolleys. These came from um, Hobbycraft. So I put all my ribbons, well, not all of them, but a lot of ribbons, trims, laces, things like that on here. Um, and then if I need them, I can just kind of go to them and sort of, you know, pick out the bits and pieces that I want. And if I just move down, I'll show you in these. Again, these are all bundled up. And there's some more in there. And then down the bottom, it's so windy. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's really, really windy. There's some more on there. There's some pretty ones. But as I say, look around. If you're looking for things, things like this on places like eBay, you can pick up a lot of this kind of stuff if you're looking yourself or maybe local haberdashery stores um, and things like that. Right now moving further around I've got these tubs I've had these since my old little craft room I don't even know what's in them these are like magnets see half of this stuff I don't really go in I have no idea what's in here look happy Easter I've had these for a couple of years actually maybe could let Phoebe have a go with some of these I've got like split pins and buttons and all sorts of rummaging things in there in here we've got bows some tiny bows in little organza bags all different kinds of colors and some more bows down the bottom and then in here again i have no idea what state it's in oh we've got some punches some punch, like palm punch stamps that's a tag maker there's another circle one these all need sorting out really a few ribbons in there and then these are things like oh there's some envelopes i needed some of those and um well, there's all sorts look have a little rummage in there but again i'll sort that out because that um all needs organizing correctly over here i've just set this little tea set out i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this yet whether i'm going to use them for projects or sell them they're just kind of left over from projects that i've done before and then in here, this is where I've got a lot of my um, stuff that I can sell. Um, not that, but um, there's a lot of sort of rice paper and things in here. I just haven't got my backside round to um, doing it so I can sell it. But there are so much rice paper and packs. There's a Merry Christmas pack there. Um, what else have we got? Oh, these are some of the napkins, the floral mixes that we had let's poke those in there without bending them i did have these in a different unit but i'll move that unit upstairs and well, then we've got more napkins in there so quite a lot of napkins also i want to show you in this top drawer i've got lots of the the molds as well the redesigned molds so if you're doing sort of 
upcycle projects and you want to put something on like a, a nice bit of detail and all these sorts of things do that we've got some stencils here um, like chives and stuff herbs loads of stencils down the bottom as you can see right I don't have time to go to work. I need this to be my full-time job. <laughs> I've got so much that I want to do for you guys, but at the moment, time is the tricky, and energy too, time and energy are the tricky parts. So then what we do is move over to this area, and over here we've got things like glues, adhesives, um, Mod Podge, got loads of Mod Podge, loads of different decoupage glue. I really, really love doing decoupage. It's one of my favourite crafts of ever of all time. We've got fabric glue, um, glossy accent, gorilla glue, um, Fabri Tac, the Mod Podge wooden step crackle, serviette um, glue, tacky glue, sticker remover. We've got Weatherwood stuff there photo transfer that's triple thick as you can see i have a lot of different kinds of glue back there i've got some primers some embossing glitter this is normal glitter normal craft glitter i love this make so if you do see that one buy that because it is pretty cool this one's quite good as well i bought this um from amazon and then i think i got this from every craft a pound it's not as good but um it's a cheap alternative um, got all sorts of lustre up there. Um, then moving down, we've got some different paints. We've got some spray paints. Um, this is like an iridescent kind of paint there. I've got all these along here. We've got the modelling paste. Some snow techs at the back. Got gesso, metallic paint there. There's sort of different golds modeling paste tea dye varnish we've got the fairy sheet gold and silver like finish that's a gold rub as well all sorts of 3g d bits like this then moving down these are the paints and things that i use so these have all been opened again you've got your fairy sheet there you've got your paints at the back um, the vintage with grace paints french sheet we've got the deco art these little pots are quite handy to have. Got my tea and coffee station over there. In here, I've got things like curling ribbon. This is just an old cupboard. I think really what I should do is do this up because that just looks awful in the corner. But look, it's got more stuff like this in. Can you see? Like I'd even forgotten this was in here. There's so much stuff. I need about a week just spent in here. There's some aprons and stuff. I think there's some like draw knobs and stuff down there as well. In here, it's a lot of the um, decoupage stuff. We've got bits like that where you can decorate them. There's hearts, there's um, trees, and there's just loads of stuff. I did think about maybe selling some of this because I don't really need it all. I mean, do you need a toadstool, maybe? Um, so I've had this for quite a long time, a lot of this stuff. Then in the bottom here... We've got things like lace, um, material, things for my sewing machine. And this one, I think, oh yeah. Well, there's more of the same. There's um, foam blocks, little kind of angel bags, little um, baskets. It's just full, isn't it? It's full of stuff got my sewing machine down there and then a sander then moving up to the top here I rearranged my flowers some of these here we got from the London No Craft Shop incidentally they've had a big um, delivery of craft flowers which will be going online soon so have a look if you haven't um, been on there already so I'll be doing something with these these are where I've got my wild orchid craft flowers they're in a basket there so um, I just kind of put them in there to keep them on display. These are my distress inks. So if you need to sort of do card making and you want to put these bits, that's the glue gun that I use for the um, gold stuff. I've got it stuck everywhere. 
so that's that one um, in here we've got my washi tape in that bottom one there's loads of beads in there there's more sort of fastenings beads and end caps and goodness knows what else in there we've got some straws these are bought down the other day they actually had um a vegan cheesecake in there and i thought they were quite cute so i'll perhaps put some bits in those these are great transfers the redesigned transfers and then i've got some paint brushes i've got rulers little sponges these little tools for doing the modeling paste snippers and nail files i'm not doing my nails that's good when you're doing decoupage in here there's a little pot of silvery sparkly magpie goodies so just if i need anything like this for for doing crafts i think sometimes when you film crafts it stops you kind of doing it yourself because you're always thinking oh i've got to film it or i've got to do that it's nice when you don't film it because you just get to be creative again it's um it's best i think um in here i've got loads of like flat back gems um I'm not going to get them out because it's a minefield in there. Um, so I've got loads in the top as well. Um, what have I got in here? Let's have a look. I think Phoebe's been in here. Hopefully these are all in the bag. Oh, we've got loads of gems. She, when we're down here, she plays up this little section. I've got these little drawers. These are what I use. Not obviously to drink out of. They're what I use for my um, pots of paint. Oh, there's loads of erasers and paper clips in there. Sponges. Little hearts. B&Q tape measure. I actually don't know where half of this stuff is. Um, there's some twine and things in there. Jane made me that. I've still got that, Jane, if you're watching. And glue sticks. I do like my glue gun. Um, and then in here, there's things. I've got some birthday cards down there. Um, I think in here I've got like wire, just open it. Yeah, wire and pins, bits and bobs like that. This is like a sewing box, that one. Um, there's birthday cards in one of these. Actually, there's birthday cards in two of them. Um, Jane made me that as well, so I've still got that, Jane. In here, um, fastenings, um, what are they called? Split pins, that sort of thing. And if I can just lift this off, I've got double-sided tape. And for some reason, there's some googly eyes in there, which is a bit random. What have we got in here? Like all sorts of mouldings and things. I, I've been sent a few of these. Some I've bought and some I've been sent. Some I made. I made this one. So there's all sorts in there. I think Viv sent me some of these actually. Um, so I'll just pop them back in there. And then moving over, I've just got some cards, tape, a lot of it. I really could probably have a tidy up. Um, so I could get rid of some of those. I've got some lights here, like cork lights or little um, fairy lights. And then under the bottom, I've got this big table and this cloth hides a multitude of sins under here let's have a look see what's under here so i've got things like paper cello wrap there's some cello um bags under there there's more ribbon more curling ribbon more baskets um I'm trying to lift this up so you can see under there at the back let me point in that box there we have loads and loads of deco um paper you know like for, for deco patch and then we've got organza bags down there i've got a box in there for sort of tools this in here i've got lots of things that people have sent me on youtube so um i've been sent cards and things people have made so if you want to send me something that will be gratefully received i'll pop my po box address in the description if you want to send me i'll pop it on the channel as well um in here i've got some of my candle making equipment that's all in there i'm just poking it in see if you can see so we've got lots of wax and stuff and then at the bottom in this one i've got more plain blank mdf things to decorate and paint in this one um i've got just a few bits of left over um sort of gifty items um in that box 
it's absolutely covered in glitter as well that's what happens down here then if we move over in here i think i'll keep my glue gun in there spare carrier bags again this needs tidying out um that's phoebe's drawer these are sort of stamps embossing stuff um, i want to get some more stamps some more die cutting do some more um card making we definitely like to do a bit more of that this one we've got like um, all this sort of string raffia and that sort of bits and bobs and this top one it's socks and bits of wool so where we've made like sock animals and things like that they're like the odd spare ones and that is probably it so i'd imagine i've got loads and loads of more bits and in nooks and crannies and drawers and goodness knows what else that you'd maybe love to see but that's like a bit of um, an overview really of of what my craft room's like i generally sit here on that side with um, my stool if phoebe comes down she'll sit this side or she'll sit on the end and um and that is about it so i hope you've enjoyed having a look around my craft room i've hope i've inspired you over the years as well to um get crafting i know a lot of people have even got their own channels now um whereas they didn't before and um they're doing quite well and i hope that i've inspired you um to do that so um let's hope for another little craft year as i said on this channel I do do shopping trips, I do vlogs, I do crafts, I do a mixture and not everybody's going to like them all but just watch what you like and that is cool with me. So I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you're all okay and I'll see you again soon. You take care, bye for now.